I'm going to introduce you to an awesome tool called Windows Sandbox. It's a virtual environment that you can use to test untrusted content, open links which you're not sure whether they're malicious or not, test out programs that you're not sure whether it's malware or something, and it's completely isolated from your main desktop operating system. It just runs a, like a, a subversion of Windows on top of your machine while you test it. I've just done this with a client. That client received a, a phishing attack via email in the form of a QR code. They was advised to scan it from the phone. They wasn't sure whether it was malicious or not, and they sent it to me. So I'm going to break that down in this video and show how I found out exactly what was in that QR code. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. Let's install Windows Sandbox. So in order to do that, we need to go into Control Panel by clicking on Start, type in Control Panel. Uh, once the Control Panel items appear, we need to find Programs and Features. Once we do that, we have turn windows features on or off here on the left hand side and that's what we want to select. That will bring up this menu of windows features that we can enable or disable. And if we scroll down, you'll see we have windows sandbox. Now if this is greyed out, it means that it's not supported uh, and you don't have virtualization enabled in the BIOS or your system just doesn't support it. Most modern systems do. So if we tick that, and then we'll click OK. Now Windows will now go ahead and install the required files. So applying the changes. Um, now at this stage, it does say that we need to reboot. Uh, and we do. So go ahead and restart the system. Once we've rebooted, if we click on Start and type in Sandbox, you can see that we now have Windows Sandbox available in the um, Start menu. So if we go ahead and click on that, we now get a Windows Sandbox. So this is a completely separate from your own system. It's a virtual machine. It's a basic Windows install, and it's not got much installed. Um, so what's the point of this? Well, let me show you. One of our clients recently got an email, and that email consisted of a PDF that said, so I've changed this phishing alert logo. It had the company logo and it said company shared a file with you. Uh, festive bonus increase implemented for employee.name. This actually had an employee name there. So it was a targeted and all bonus payment verified and processed accurately on the date. And then it said it had the company name, whatever staff bonus. And then it said scan barcode using your smart mobiles phone camera to verify. And it had this um, barcode in it. So they've sent this to an employee of the company. And again, it had the company name here. Uh, and then said for inquiries, please report this to HR at whatever the company name was. I've changed that to example. So this QR code's safe. Don't worry about it. I've changed the details of it. Um, so how do you open that? How do you find out whether it's a malicious link or not? It obviously is. This was a phishing uh, attack. So well, what I did was copy this QR code, I scanned it to find out what the URL was inside it. Now, one thing with Windows Sandbox, let me just get this into the Sandbox. So we can copy this file here, and I can just paste it straight into the Sandbox. And it's not going to open it up. Yes, it will. So now we've got our malicious file on our Sandbox. Um, so it says scan with your camera. Um, as opposed to obviously scanning it with a computer or sending a link via email. They sent this QR code to scan. So I extracted the code that was in this QR code and it came back with a URL, which was similar to this. Zoom in so you can see it. So it was similar to this. Now I've obviously changed the bit to Sheridan Computers uh, and it had this strange code after it. Um, I know this is base64 code, so what I did was copy that. And then if we go into cyberchef.io, I pasted the input here, and then basically went from base64. And here, it actually had the employee's email address in it. Okay, so that's not good. So clicking this link would basically take you to a malicious web page. Let me zoom back out of this. We'll take you to a malicious web page. 
Um, resize this better to get it on the screen. So we didn't know what the link was, and if I open it in this sandbox, it's safe. I have to say I've changed that URL, but if it affected, infected the machine or did something malicious, um, it's safe. Once you close this sandbox, it's destroyed. That's it. Anything that you've done here disappears, and it's completely separate from your host machine. So let me show you what actually happened. So we get wait a moment. It redirects to another URL, and then it redirected to this Microsoft, what appears to be a Microsoft signing page. And this, the uh, this base sixty four encoded text was, as I say, was the employee's email address. Um, so that's why it's filled that in from there. So I changed it to not at today dot com, um, and then you try and log in. It comes up with a page, and it is login dot live dot com. We're unable to complete your request. Um, so at that point, the malicious actor has captured your password, and if you've not got MFA enabled, it's kind of um, going to be a bad day for you. So. I actually pasted the malicious URL in there and because it's in a sandbox, it was quite safe. I didn't know what it was going to do. I didn't know if it was going to run some malicious program on the machine, come up with a page as it happened. It just came up with this login page. So that is how these uh, Windows sandbox can be really, really useful. You can, if you have a program, you're not sure what it does. You can run it on this sandbox. You can open URLs and you're quite safe to play with them. When we go to close the sandbox, we'll get this message come up. Are you sure you want to close the Windows sandbox? Once Windows sandbox is closed, all of its content will be discarded and permanently lost. We click OK. The sandbox closes and that's gone. So if you recall correctly, I copied this file and I pasted it on the sandbox. So if we go back into the sandbox again, the file's not there. Again, this is a completely fresh a virtualized version of Windows, which is cut down, so we can do what we want with this. Windows Sandbox, it's free if you've got Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro, it doesn't work with Home unfortunately, but it is a really good way and a free way for you to be able to inspect any links that you might think are malicious. Of course, if you have a job where you're a security researcher or something like that, then there are other tools available. For example, any.rum. Now you can get to this by going on to app.any.rum as shown here in the uh, URL bar. This allows you to submit a file, submit a URL or submit suspicious links. Sorry, uh, this isn't sponsored by any.run. I'm just showing this as one of the tools that are available. Now, if you use this and you use the free version, if you submit any URL or files, for example, the URL that had the email encoded in it or a file or email, if you use a public version, uh, if you use a free account, then all your results are public and any scans that you do are public. So if we look at reports, we can see that all these have been done on the free account. If you've not used any.run, by the way, or you just want to have a look at malware and what people are doing, this is a great place to do it. You can go ahead, add to reports, um, and just check out other submissions people have made. Now, the paid account... Um, it's obviously not free for commercial use. So the paid account can be expensive for small businesses and you probably don't need this, but for a security researcher, it's great. And any submissions that you make uh, can be done in complete privacy. It also gives you the option of using various different machines, whereas um, the free account only allows you to use Windows 7. Uh, the paid accounts allow you to use like Windows 10, Windows 11, etc. Anyway, this is not a video on any.rum. There we go. The Windows um, Sandbox tool is great. As I say, it's, in avail it's available in Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro. It's not available in the home versions. Um, but customers send me things all the time, and they're not sure whether they're legitimate or not. I just open them in a sandbox, take a look at what it is, trash it, it's done, it's safe, and there's no reason you can't do the same. So if you found this video useful, please uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, do you use the Windows Sandbox? If you do, let me know in the comments below.